channel I'm finally back um I was sick and school didn't really help uh, I threw up so uh, that's, that's not really the best thing ever is it and um yeah but I'm back there's not really an excuse uh, for me to not stream for what, six days now I'm so sorry but um we're back in no man's sky a lot has happened I've got myself a freighter and it's pretty swag. Uh, it's the best race in the game. I've gone the portal. I've gone the best ships in the game. Best upgrades. Oh, the squeaky toy as well. That's a funny Easter egg. I, I just figured out what was the thing. So we've upgraded the exosuit entirely. Everything. Exosuit done. Starship done. Multi tool done. Freighter also just upgraded to the maximum. You know, I've, I've gotten some more. AI valves, I've gotten a bunch of units from selling oxygen and other materials. Just found, I, I have like, so much now. It's insanity. I, some of the stuff I have had a lot of. I was looking for a bunch of ships before, I got a bunch of radiant shards in advance and found out that these things, crystallized hearts can like drop from enemies. So I've been getting a few of those just having a bit of fun and then I was on this like mission to upgrade everything so I got 9999 cadmium and a few other goodies as well including um what's called salvaged glass and a bunch of platinum surprisingly uh but yeah a bunch of things in the inventory here as well uh this I was just going around buying with nanites on not nanites the scrap or whatever I had duplicated before but since then I haven't duplicated all this stuff I bought or crafted these are pretty easy to craft these I don't know I don't know what I've done with these to be honest I forgot but uh I've been going in freighters derelict freighters getting these and I've also actually I think I know these sorry these storage augmentations I, I think I was just going around between the dissonant spikes and just unlocking them and trying to find stuff but then I figured out hey I can might as well just punch in the coordinates and get the best stuff already so yeah that's explanation for all the stuff um, I haven't done much duping to be honest at all no, not much at all actually like I don't think anything um, yeah that's that's all really I gotta say the only really thing I duped was that like salvaged scrap uh, the white Ones. I think, yeah, these ones from ages ago. Tainted metal. But I still have so much left and I haven't duped anything else. All this stuff I've crafted. This, once again, is from the... Uh, what's it called? The cargo from the derelict freighter. I think I duped one stack of 20. And that's it. So, this is the 20. And it turns out this thing was basically nearly max with the core. And the rest is just all storage containers. I don't think I've spent much on those, but... Yeah, uh, things have happened, and today, my plan is for the stream, because the last stream I kind of just left it off, and Floof is here, but um, the last stream I kind of just, you know, said I would go into a black hole, but I didn't, so I'm sorry to that gamer that decided to stop by, and I'm so sorry for disappointing you, if you're going to be here, but today, my friends, we are going to be going into a black hole, so we need to just find where it is it's right here so let's get into that bad boy let's teleport halfway across the universe and see what happens because to be honest i love black holes in this game because like it's just a gamble of where you get sent like earlier i did one i went into one and i got sent 800,000 light years away uh which doesn't seem like a lot but it is quite a lot i was on the outer rim i think of the galaxy which is the Euclid galaxy so it was very far and actually these can teleport you to the very end and then you can get to the other galaxy just like that so that's kind of crazy but uh, we're just gonna go right in here see I've done so much stuff once again I've upgraded gun stuff all of this I've actually really gotten from dismantling why is it blurry I'm so sorry that looks so weird. <laughs> it's like, um, yeah, I forgot to put on my glasses, but, um, sorry, but short sighted. POV. The camera guy. Lenses are not working. Also, props to the camera guy for going through a black hole with this goober. Oh, what the heck? We just got this event. That's cool. Uh, let's actually just complete this quickly. Yeah, I've got the squad. Uh, actually, sorry, I think. Let me remember what I did. Yeah, I also duped this ship uh, once or twice just to get the most cracked squad ever. Uh, that's really it. I just did that. 
and some tainted metal from earlier. I think I just forgot, I haven't been playing much to be honest. So, school, sickness, not much went well. But also, we get, I think we can actually get this funky, uh, what's it called, spaceship here. Why is my... Okay, nine more, oh my goodness. This is, this is a sensible ship, right? Yeah, that is a sensible ship, is it? I don't know, it looks like one. But yeah, this is like Cyclotron Ballista and like Positron Ejectus like strat. It's so damn good, it's crazy. You see how much damage I'm using their shields? I basically destroy it. I've got the maxed out ship. Which I think is pretty cool. My dad approves as well of it. So that's how you know it's good. You know? Dad approves. Cool is amazing. But uh yeah. I'm sorry for the loud uh over here. Let me just turn that down a bit. It's kind of hard to hear me with all that stuff. Uh, in general, right? Yeah, that's the next. I own 15, it's that loud? Jesus Christ! Okay, let's put it down to 30. That's a lot better, actually. I'm sorry once again, I apologize if it's like too loud. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's my uh, reaction and excuse to it being too loud. Jeez Louise. Okay, we're just gonna get out the minigun. This thing feels great, and it makes short work at his... Whoa, 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 what the hell? What the hell, bro? Why is my shield down? Oh, I should not be accidentally shooting these things. That would be horrible. Would not want to, like, anger the locals. Let's just throw the Cyclotron Ballista. A worse fate than death. Oh, okay, we just got a trophy. Pattern for Conquest. So that's just like destroy multiple ships, right? That's it. Hey, we did it! So is this? That is so funny. That is. This is literally the thing I've been wanting. Okay, before I decided on just searching up, you know, best ship in No Man's Sky and how to get it. I was going crazy to try and get the Sentinel Freighter. Actually, I did stream myself teleporting between galaxies. Uh, using an autosave kind of trick to try and get one of these little things and um, unluckily I wasn't really able to but we just found what is C-class but uh, I'm just gonna go up to the goober the owner of the ship and just say hey bro give me a reward for helping me uh, for me helping you out because he just gives you money or he gives you some kind of material but that's really it. He's Gek as well look at this guy! Commander Commander if Jogu? I don't know Anyway, I'm going to request payment instead. And we get a cargo bulkhead, which is also... Sorry, oh my goodness, I need to jog my memory, sorry. I only just hopped on. My brain is all over the place from school, but um... So, the way I got the stack of the bulkheads, if you guys have been wanting an explanation, is from the derelict freighters at the end, you can kind of just get one. Just like that, and from these little space encounters, for some reason I've been getting like a few, but not this one because this one you have to wait like three hours before you get like one. But anyway, let's see in the galaxy map where the next black hole is. We're traveling out of this place. Uh, black hole is there one even here? And this just shows where we traveled to and fro, I think. Just the weird line. Is that where the next black hole is? It's kind of just enter. Well, I know where I'm going. See ya. I should have stopped by the space station. That was foolish of me. I'm sorry. Foolish. Uh, but yeah, it turns out, um, great timing, right? I have to go to sleep in 15 minutes. <laughs> I know, crazy. But, um, yeah, also, one thing. My dad, like the gamer he is, got me Dark Souls 3 and Sekiro today. I'm so bloody happy about that, and he knows it. I am going to be streaming that stuff like there's no tomorrow. I love Dark Souls games. I'm going to stream it, you know, first playthrough on the PlayStation 5 and whatnot. I just want to get back in Dark Souls. And Sekiro, I'm going to be screaming my head off for that. I'm going to get so angry. You have no idea the horrors that await. It's like, what's it called? I don't think I can even get down like parrying in like what was it, Ghost of Tsushima, which is like, it's got very like, 
not so simple parrying system, but there's things that can make it a lot easier to parry. Sekiro, you parry, you win. If you don't parry, you die and never progress. So <laughs> I really just want to like parry stuff, you know. And also one little nifty trick I learned, which I think I just showed off now, is this weird like rocket jump stuff, you know. This is pretty swag, I think. I just found out this is a thing, and it's pretty useful, because as soon as I tap the ground in the space station, at least, it just... Hold up, sorry. It just regens it straight away. And, um, also, because of my little break, uh, because I got sick, and other bad stuff, you know, I've actually, like, kind of thought about what I want to do on YouTube. I want to stream for now, and eventually, if I ever get myself a, um, like... What's it called? A PC or something? I'm going to just be putting that into editing videos. Try to make like some kind of like, you know, interesting thing. So, yeah. But anyway, for now, it's just streaming. Uh, to be honest, I won't be streaming based on analytics because, you know, very soon, like, it's gonna be kind of obvious. Like, games will start to feel boring. You know, the ones that I like to stream. And um, and um, if I like stream let's say like let's say destiny 2 was doing very good you know if i streamed that like every single day even though i didn't want to i just do it for views no i'm nobody's going to enjoy that i'm not going to be like how i am now i'm not going to be like yeah guys there's a gun over here that's great i'm gonna be like yeah that's a gun that's a pretty cool gun actually and that's it that's all i'm gonna say that is an example of what might happen but uh, i don't really want that to happen uh, to be honest i'm just here for the gamers gaming game game and chilling the heck out so yeah so yeah i'll be right back need to set up time yeah also because i'm a healthy individual before the stream i had a whole pizza it's like, it was, I think it was 15 and a half inches, right? Like wide. That stuff was huge. I'm full from that. You know? Crazy stuff. I know it was really good as well. Also, we need to just pop by at this Molson planet. I just saw this because I've also been doing some weird research on different planets in this game. And Molson planets are the little orange backgrounds. I've been like, the little orange outlines of the planet. That's what I've been figuring out. And luckily, this planet has basalt, which is actually a thing... I kind of need. For some reason, I just can't seem to find it in any neighboring, like, um, universe. I, as, at least I seem to have, like, a really tough time. But I think if we can find some, that'll be pretty cool. Um, although, I think it, it's in these little deposits, isn't it? Depository. Oh, what the heck? Unknown oh, building! Jesus Christ. Copper, it's just all copper. <laughs> Oh, there we go, Basalt. Okay, we're gonna ping you, and then we'll stop by this unknown building. It is scorching on this planet. But yeah, I'm basically, I cannot die, you know, to like environmental hazards now. I've got three layers of shields and stuff, it's cool. Man, we'll just stop by here. I bet there's like a merchant or something like selling Basalt. I just cannot seem to find a merchant, you know, in my local area that is willing to sell me uh, tons and tons of basalt for no particular reason for a science project. So, where the oh, what's that stuff? Huh, who would have guessed it looks like iron? What the hell? No, just that thing. I don't know why that thing is, looks weird. Okay, we're just gonna mine this. Uh, there's actually an easier way of mining it uh, a little trick I learned where you can just flatten the terrain if it lets you. Does it let you? Yeah, there we go. And you can just mine it like that. You know, like, it's so easy with this little trick. I like it. Nice and easy trick. Although you have to be, like, decently close. I don't actually know if mining it gives you more or uh, doing the flatten little trick gives you more. I think they both give the same, to be honest. So I need 70 basalt. Oh my God, I'm going to have to find, like, another deposit, I think. It's kind of annoying. Uh, there's a bit more. Yeah, there it is. Oh, you know what I really want to see? I want to see one, like, those, like, giant floating worms. That would be amazing. Apparently, they're, like, scary. I think we actually saw them. I think it was at the start. Like, at some kind of time. I think when I... Oh, wait. Nice. But anyway. 
Sorry, I need to get my head out of the gutter. Uh, but when I started streaming this game, I think we were like on that frozen planet, whatever. And um, I was just like, yeah, giant earthworm, I think. I think that's what I saw or streamed myself seeing. But I don't really know, to be honest. Everything is in shambles in terms of memory. My, <laughs> my state of memory is completely shattered because of school. But um, yeah, also this multi tool is crazy. 32k! 32k damage potential. Potential. It's insane. I don't know how I got it this high. I mean, I searched up a guide. That's what I did. Uh, I don't know. I actually forgot the YouTuber's name. Who did that? But he's a cool guy. Um, he does like all these kinds of videos, like how to make the best multi tool, how to make the best freight, how to find these little things. And in these little videos where he shows off like how to do it. He'll say, uh, this is the multi-tool I used, here's a link, it's in the description, so check that out if you want to figure out how to get that. I love those kinds of YouTubers, they just tell you all the info you want, straight away, without like saying, you know, uh, 20 seconds of saying, oh yeah, subscribe to my channel, or stop by for the giveaway. Uh, actually, cool thing about that YouTube I was just talking about, he doesn't have, like, anything where it's like, yeah, subscribe to me, and uh, leave a like down below, like how I do, because I'm a bit silly like that. He just says, hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the best upgrades. And that's it, and then he goes straight into the video, he just dives into it, and tells you all the prerequisites, saying like, yeah, um, you're going to need to, first of all, have completed this quest, if it's like a weapon where you need to get, uh, complete some kind of quest from. Uh, you're going to need to have these upgrades, which you can get from here. Here's the planet sigil, where the portal, like, uh, pattern or sequence where you can find it being sold at this station in this system and he just he gives you all the info he's such a cool guy um, if I find him I think I think I'll check on my YouTube like uh, what was it watch later I think I was watch later sorry history and I'll tell you what he's called oh, okay no mind just short open up but um yeah I'll, I'll probably like maybe put in a pinned comment because why not, you know? He's a cool guy, I might as well, like, say, yeah, go to this guy, check out his guides and stuff. Because he's a swag guy, you know? He's so friendly, like, when he says, um, take a screenshot of this, uh, portal sequence, it will come up with a frame where, like, you know, you take the picture and have it on your phone, and it says, you are amazing. Dude, that's, like, the best motivation ever. It's, like, cool YouTuber. He's actually, like, he's got a lot of subscribers. Well, he makes like, amazing content, so of course he's gonna have like a ton. But he just says you're amazing, and like that's just the best thing ever, you know. Usually with games, like it takes a while to just you know do stuff, especially in this game here to go around to different planets, get different materials and whatnot. But it just feels so nice, you know, when you have like a positive guy like that, just to say you got this gamer, you're amazing, you know. I just love that. But anyway, let's stop by in the anomaly because there doesn't seem to be a local black hole in our area. So, let's just cool in this bad boy. There it is! Traveling through, like, hyperspace. Through hyperspace. But yeah, actually, one thing I want to do, I want to get an anomaly scanner. So I can try to get Whale Song, which is like, some kind of, um... You get like a living frigate, which is like, some kind of like, support ship for the main freighter. And it's like a whale, it's a space whale. Like, uh, what's it called? Ark Survival Evolved style, but... I'd say slightly more interesting, I guess, because it's like a lot bigger kind of things, but I guess Ark Survival Evolved had that as well. I don't know. Ark Survival Evolved looked like Space Whale with funny uh, fabric flowing from the side, but this one has like huge like tentacles and stuff, and make, makes glitter similar to the one in Ark Survival Evolved, so... Yeah, actually, why was I... Why, why did I come here? Um, <laughs> I forgot what I'm doing here. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what I want to do now. Okay, what is it this? What is this? There's nothing. Okay, I, I don't know why, I just thought that would be something, but, um, yeah, this guy can make you, like, expeditions stuff start, which is pretty cool. And, um, it's actually how you get Quicksilver, which is that weird, like, um, currency up here. I haven't really gotten much. But, yeah, he can start, like, these little expeditions, which give you quite a bit of Quicksilver, uh, but I'm pretty sure pretty tough. Yeah, like, complete missions. It's an expedition. And then, with Quicksilver, you can go over to this guy, this cool guy over here. Look at him. Look at his face. He's a robot. It's cool. And you can actually create exotic items from the Quicksilver. These are just, like, cosmetics. So you can get, like, this. Uh, actually, what I wanted was this. I wanted to save up for that. Hologram blob. 
you know? This was like, um, a weird, like, uh, alien from, like, the release, you know? I think it was, um... I forgot actually what it was. It was just one of the creatures you could find, and it looked so funny. I just cannot like not remember it, you know. But anyway, there's like a few other things: a frigate hologram, starship hologram, multi-tool, and then the system one, which is also pretty cool. There's a bunch of these geometric cape. I don't know why it's so tattered, but cool as well. And there's like a bunch of other things which look awesome, and I'm pretty sure there's a hang in there poster. I don't know, I, f I, I forgot to be honest, but there's quite a few things. And there's also these freighter trails, and I think there was a ship trailer once. Oh yeah, the got milk thing. Actually, apparently this um translate to, translates to not milk. Uh, because actually, you can actually read this language. And there was a YouTuber I was watching earlier, who was like saying the law of the man's sky and stuff. There's also music within this game. Outer Worlds, that just gives me like, Outer Worlds vibes as well. It's just, it's, I love this game, man. There's so much to do. So much, like, decoration. So much awesome stuff, you know. And actually, there's a skin you can get a companion accessory. I need to actually get myself a companion in this game. You can, like, tame little bugs and stuff. But yeah, this is what I want to get. Stealth Starship Trail. That looks cool. It's like purple. Purple. Which is actually my favorite color. I think. And there's these other ones as well. Golden, Emerald, and Cadmium. There's like some other weird things in her. Jetpack trails as well. And there's these iterations uh, characters. So these are the little other ones from the um, space station. And I actually really want to get Helios Visage. This looks cool, you know? You look like an Ent. So, yeah, and there's also like the armored stuff. There's so much like cool stuff in here. Armored shoulder pads, armored chest piece, everything. You get like robot arms. Look at that. That's cool. It's the, um, the Viking stuff. And the Eye of the Corvax, which I also really like. That looks so futuristic and cool. Me on scan. Only one way to get this. It's not through cheating, through pure gameplay. Which I like. I do want to get the null decal as well. But anyway, uh, enough of this. I think I've shown off everything in that shop. So what we're going to do, I think, is do a bit of exploring, I guess. Um, what I'll do is I'll go back to the space station. We won't call him the freighter. But, uh... Actually, wait, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, sorry. I've just gone off track. Uh, let's go to a local, like, asteroid field. So, like, this one over here. Pull out the minigun and start blast. That is loud. I'm so sorry. And start blasting little bits and bobs. And hopefully get ourselves an anomaly scanner. Yeah, none of this stuff is modded. I don't even think you can mod on the console. But, um, yeah. It just shoots really fast. I'll show you the upgrade, actually. That makes it shoot so fast. It's, um, this. So you get, like, three more cannons, and then all this stuff gives more fire rate and stuff. It's pretty swag. Also, for some reason, I found out that, like, most, like, the some of the best upgrades I got for the ship and stuff had the exact same name. So, like, one was, like, Band Hyperdrive, or Band Suspects, uh, Thermal, um, Shifters, or something, like, some kind of name. And then another gun you know, like, a completely different weapon would also have, like, the same name, so, like, uh, suspect, um, thermal shifters, for example. I'm just making, like, some kind of name up here, but that's, like, an example of what could have happened. Now, one thing I've also noticed is, like, when I stream, I sometimes I eat my words, I need to try and change this, so I'm trying to speak out more like this, more enthusiastically, and I'm really trying to pronounce stuff, so I need to get into that habit, especially because, like, now watching all this, like, Markiplier and Jacksepticeye, they speak so clearly, it's so easy to understand what they say, but sometimes, like me, I go like, yeah, 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 and then, you know, I don't speak properly, so I'm sorry about that, I'm just like, you know, sometimes not enough energy, you know, and to be honest, I only just only hopped on. This is the first game I went to after buying the other two, but I'm gonna have so much fun this week playing those games after school. But of course, I need to keep on top of my homework, revise. A lot of things needs to happen. Actually, we're getting a lot of Triton hyper clusters. I think that's what they're called, right? Hyper cluster. Where's the game? A oh, starship, not freighter. Why, why was I checking my starship? <laughs> freighter. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we've got 12 now. We can actually, um, these are for crafting, so it's nice to have these. But yeah, the thing I want, the module or whatever, is pretty rare. So we're just gonna use it as soon as we find that. It. 
Now, if I sniffle every now and then, it's because like there's some stuff in my nose. My nose is still a bit runny, but that's fine. Probably move my mic anyway, so you guys won't hear any yucky stuff. You know, the <laughs> sniffing. <laughs> my cat just woke up. His ears just went up as soon as I made that weird noise. Yeah, I'm sorry, you guys. You guys, the ears had to like hear that stuff. It was terrifying. Yeah, another hypercluster. Oh my goodness gracious! It's actually a dense asteroid field. Um. I feel like these not sensible cannon. Would the Postron objective be good? Probably not, right? I mean it just destroys instantly, but still. Yeah, not really the best of it overheats. Because like it doesn't take a while for the thermal load to go down. I don't think I was lucky with these upgrades. Let's see. Yeah, not much heat dispersion. Actually I was checking the like statistics of like all the different upgrades and stuff. Like, especially like the Positron and stuff, they have like some pretty low base upgrades. So, like the, I think the max is like 15% heat dispersion, or 10, I can't remember like off the top of, blah, 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 off the top of my head, but um, yeah, it's pretty low. But the minigun, however, has a lot of good upgrades on it, it's like fire rate. I don't think it gives you extra like um, barrels, I think that's only the, um, the intrinsic upgrade or whatever, I think that's what they're called, right? It's just the base one. Yeah, just the ones you can buy. The, the schematics you can unlock. Those look stack and stuff. But um, anyway, that's the only one that increases your barrel count. I think if the band mods would increase the barrel count, that would just be too crazy. Like 20 barrel minigun. It just instantly deletes everything. Oh, what the heck? I just got. Was that an overheat warning or was that trader signal? I don't know what that was. It's still not luck. You know what's weird? When I don't want this in normally scanner, I just find them like candy. I found like two earlier and used them and found more abandoned uh, derelicts or whatever freighters and I looted those. But um, yeah, now I just can't seem to find them. So I guess we can just try to see if we can get any anomalies today by jumping here and there. It should be much easier because we have a very fast hyperdrive, because I'm pretty sure it's based on speed and not how long you spend in it. Might be wrong in saying that though. But anyway, let's see if we get any. It's a bit like Subnautica, kind of, you know? I mean, I know everything in Subnautica is kind of like, you know, kind of like coded in. Like, there's like, what are they called? Preset kind of like events. Like, let's say, oh no. Uh, the the sun star, I think it was called, or um, sunbeam. Sorry, sunbeam. Uh, lands. Oh no, it got shot down. No matter what you do, it gets shot down. So that's kind of upsetting. But um, there's a lot of things that can just happen in this game, like random encounters. I guess like, I guess kind of like Fallout 76. I don't know. I'm just trying to link it to some kind of game. Anyway, let's see what planet this is. Oh yeah, you know what I really want to do. I want to make one of those underwater bases. Oh, there we go. Objective interest. Urgh. I always get this. I always get these trading channels. Let's see what stuff he has. Oh, repair. Okie dokie. But yeah, most of the stuff, like the upgrade parts, I would just buy from the space stations. It's a lot easier than crafting them. Like, I'll show you. So we go to here. I think I'm able, I'm not able to actually, no I am. So usually it's like gold, silver, and chromatic metal, which is like, to be fair, it's not that hard to get, but it's kind of annoying to farm for all that stuff. But you could just buy it from a space station for 20k a piece, and I have 4 billion, like, units, so I'm pretty fine, you know, I don't, I don't think I'll need to restock anytime soon. Yeah, one thing I really like about Sentinel ships is that you don't need to, like, oh, sorry, you don't need to use, like, um, What's it called? I mean, you can if you want to, but you don't entirely... You're not, like, limited to using the, um, warp cells and stuff. You can just use one crystal and it fully recharges it. Recharges it. What? Scan what? Oh, no. Pirates. Why is my whole ship a... Okay, never mind. Krovax echoes mean you no harm. Krovax will only exterminate if request units are not delivered. Two mil- ten million! I'm going to alert the f authorities. <laughs> I'll have aid with the- oh. But I'm already like... Sentinel, Starship, incoming. Yes, yeah, space battle, guys. 
Isn't that cool? Oh jeez man. In the asteroid field as well. Hey, we got the gang here. We got more sentinel ships because we're just cool. Yeah, these pirates think they can run. I'm gonna minigun them. Okay, let's get the minigun on. That's a sentinel ship. I just destroyed my own system authority, didn't I? Man, I am so silly. I just called in the authorities to help me out and just destroyed one of them. Man, I was just feeling a bit goofy. Destroyed the people that are trying to help me. I'm a danger to those around me. Oh, no, 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 I didn't destroy it. Okay. Hey, woo, yay! But yeah, let's actually go to a system with water. So that we're just gonna stop by in here. And we'll just go to A system. Ah, uh, yeah, it's time to go to bed for me, but we'll just travel to a system and see what underwater horrors await. Actually, I think what we'll do is we will just go back to the main system where we were, because uh, we can see the previous system we were in. And from there, I think what we're gonna do is we'll probably just leave the stream off there. Tomorrow, I'll probably once again be streaming Dark Souls 3 or Sekiro. And yeah. Let's go, we'll have to see. You know, it's like nine. I should be in bed. No. Okay, where's the previous system I was in? There we go. Chobsky. Nah, actually, I need to go back here. But yeah, somehow I've been me and my dad have been keeping up top, like in terms of shorts. We've been using that two-hour stream from ages ago and got like a bunch of shorts from there. I think we got a Destiny Two one. Uh, from me doing Crota's end, uh, killing Iryut, got like 10,000 views on a single short. I think that's the most any of my shorts have gotten. But um, yeah, I was talking about shorts. I don't know if you guys know, but um, oh, he's got the Goober. He's got the Goober one. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. He's got the Goober thing. I love that. But anyway, um, what's it called? Uh, one of my old shorts I did, one of the first ones, was uh, a short of my cat, Fluffy, in a little box. So he went in, right? Sticks his head out, you know, like he does his weird movement, opens up the side, and just pops his head out. You don't see his body, just the head coming out from the box. Blinks once, like a cute blink, with massive eyes, blinks, and goes back in the same way he got out. It is such a perfect video. It wasn't reversed or anything. It was just so nice, and it's a very cute video. But yeah, also, one weird thing I noticed, if I sell stuff, uh, let's say, I don't know, chlorine? Actually, I need to get chlorine. Get chlorine farm going. If I sold this, because to be honest, I don't really need this. I'll keep like one or two. I don't know why I have so many. I've been hoarding them <laughs> like a, a squirrel. But um, if I get like over the limit, which is 4.136 like, billion, I think, it gives it takes away the excess money from you. Also, one thing I've been looking out for recently is exotic ships. So a while ago, I was in a system where I saw an S-class royal ship, which is kind of rare. Um, but yeah, that was a pretty cool find. I don't know if it was the first ever one ever discovered. Probably not. It's hundreds and millions of players in this game, but, um, yeah. But anyway, uh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about the short comeback stream. It was like, what, half an hour? But still, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like button and subscribe. Don't forget to, uh, tune in tomorrow, where I do some more shenanigans, either in No Man's Sky or another game I feel like playing. Actually, recently, I've been playing, um, some Generation Zero with a friend of mine. I think it was T. Y. Omen, that guy, Tyman. Yeah, and we just had a new playthrough, just been hunting robots and whatever, and just killing stuff. So if you want to see some Generation Zero, just feel free to ask. But uh, for now, I'm signing off. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more streams. See ya. Good night.